Practice fields are quiet today as Florida State took their first day off here in the 2014 fall campaign. Plenty of coverage here on Seminoles.com. Here now is our Rashad Green story. Rashad Green led the Seminoles in nearly every receiving category last year. Number one in receptions, yards, and yards per game, mixing in some big game catches, but you wouldn't know it by watching his demeanor. You know, I show it in a, in a different way, you know. On the inside, you know, I'm jumping like a little kid, but on the outside, it just, it's just that, you know, I wouldn't say it's a serious face, but it's just so calm all the time. Pod Rashad Green, 3-2-1, three, touchdown Florida State! I expect that from myself, so, you know, to me, it's no big deal, you know. That's what I'm supposed to do, that's what I train to do, you know. So, at the end, it's, it's normal for me, and that's what I feel like. And that's, you know, that's built with, you know, training so hard and, you know, doing things the right way. Pod, Pod, touchdown FSU! One word explains why Green is so good. It doesn't get any better than that throw and catch. Consistency, you know, showing up in the big games, you know, playing, making plays. And that's the thing. Not only is he a good kid off the field, he's a good kid on the field. 1,128 yards on 76 catches with nine touchdowns last year, setting him up for this year to break the all-time touchdown, receiving, and yards record at Florida State. It hit me um, actually when, when Coach Fisher was on, I think it was first take, and he was talking about it. So, you know, I, I understood that. You know, I have that opportunity. But, you know, I feel like, you know, I do what I'm supposed to do and, you know, just just play team ball. Everything individually will come to me. And Winston takes the snap, looks downfield, throws out, caught, touchdown! This type of career was evident to Coach Dossie four years ago. He was wide open, not a single defender within 10 yards of him. I realized that um, this kid was going to have a chance to to be a good football player. I didn't know he was going, how good he was going to be, but I knew he had a chance to be real special and he continued to work hard each and every day in practice. I was since the freshman and every day he come to work and, and that's what shows up. It comes as no surprise that the return for a senior season for one of Florida State's greatest wide receivers is critical for the team's success. Once it throws up post. It's real big. You know, uh, he was our lead receiver last year and uh, he's a true brother for me. When, uh, every, when adversity had hit our team, uh, I stayed over his house every night. And uh, we got that brotherhood together, and uh, that's my brother. I love him. It's very fun, you know, just to spend it, my last season with guys that I came in with and, you know, just trying to accomplish the same goal, you know, and, and pave the way for younger guys that are coming behind me. You know, just show them the ropes, you know, how to continue to be, like, keep it going. Florida State will be back on the practice fields tomorrow. Make sure you stay right here at Semmels.com. We'll have your complete Semmel coverage inside Doe Campbell Stadium. Jonathan Schlacey, Semmels.com.